Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Night Garden. I am Vamp, and I'm here to talk to you about art today. So I wanted to get started by saying that this is a art vlog, which means it's a little bit different than most of the other stuff that I do. It's just kind of me talking about the current projects that I'm doing and connecting with you guys on all of the things that are happening under the Conquer Thy Fear umbrella. Now, the reason why I'm doing this instead of uploading more Noob vs. Pro content or uh, speed paint video or something like that is just to touch base with you guys. I used to run a newsletter for quite a while, actually, and I wound up really falling off the wagon with that just because it takes so much time to write a newsletter and format it and make sure that you have everything down that you want to talk about. And I find video and listening media to be a lot easier to keep up with than writing all of that stuff out. It takes me a lot less time and it gives me more, more ability to work on the projects that I need to work on. So that being said, this is a video that is meant to connect with you guys. So we've got a lot of topics. I don't know how long it's going to be. I will break it down into chapters. But I wanted to start with what is going on on screen here. So the illustration that I'm doing on screen is a original character from a project I'll talk about in a little bit. But long story short with it is that it's meant to celebrate. Um, I hit 100 followers on threads last week. I've hit 76 here on YouTube, which I don't really do much of the following game. Like I don't care about numbers. I don't really, you know, focus on that kind of stuff too much. But uh, it is really cool to see my stuff having exponentially grown in the past couple of months when I've been working pretty hard on my social media aspects for a couple of years now. So I decided on threads, hey, once I hit 100 followers, I'll do a draw this in your style. And I haven't had a ton of time to do extra work outside of the projects I'm currently doing. So I made time this week. This entire footage was done on Wednesday. And now it's Thursday as I'm recording this. So I'm cutting it down to the wire for this video to be released. But this is for the Draw This In Your Style. And if you've never heard of a Draw This In Your Style, it was something that was going around on Twitter for a while. It's something that people typically do on social media uh, where they draw something and they put a couple of rules to it and they ask people, hey, draw this in your style, share it, credit me for the original. I want to see the differences. I want to see how you approach this. And it's a really cool way for artists to connect. So I wanted to try my hand at hosting one of these. And this is not quite finished yet. I'm hoping to have it finished by Friday. If not, then the latest I think it'll take is Wednesday. Uh, but I have commissions that take precedence over getting this done. So I've been putting a lot of time into that. So the draw this in your style, I'm hoping to have an official start date of next Friday, if not next Wednesday. Um, I will post in a community tab when it starts, as well as on threads, so make sure you keep an eye out for that. So this brings me to the current projects that I'm working on. I have a couple of commissions. One is for a movie poster for someone, and another is a long-term project that I cannot talk about. So those I'm just going to kind of gloss right past. I am also part of a local theater troupe, and we meet Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays from 6.30 to 9, which I work freelance from 9 until 6. So I haven't really had much of my evenings available in the first half of the week, which is for an awesome reason. I absolutely adore theater. And I'm learning how to direct this year, which has been an absolutely amazing situation our artistic director is an extremely talented woman, and she is very good at teaching how to pick up on certain things. And so it's been an amazing experience. But that's something that is going on around these other projects here. I've been working on another long-term project with a group of people that I unfortunately can't talk about yet, but it is a lot of fun and I'm enjoying myself, but it is taking a lot of time. 
There is a book project that I've been working on for the last year with one of my best friends. I may have them come onto the channel so that we can talk about it a little bit. But you've seen some of the art popping up with some of the characters in this series. There is a whole bunch of stuff that I've done. The Frenzied Vampire piece from November, that was part of this series. The Draw This In Your Style on screen actually is the same character. This is Acanthus. He is one of the two main characters of the story. He's a vampire who's about a thousand years old and he has been through quite a lot. The trilogy focuses on Acanthus and Cypress. Cypress has popped up in a couple of works as well. And I don't want to spend too much time talking about the books because this is more about a catch-up video, but if you're interested, there's some information on my website. And then also I'll probably do a videos talking about this project specifically pretty soon here. Uh, because we're almost to a point of where we can potentially start looking at publishing the first book. So it's been very fun. It's been a lot of work and I'm pretty excited to see this starting to come to fruition. One of the cool things about this book project too is that I'm doing some illustrations for some of the chapter headers that will be throughout the book. And so I'm really excited about the fact that I could merge two of my big passions, writing and drawing, into one project. And it's been an absolute blast working with my best friend on this. Um, I haven't name dropped because I don't know how comfortable they are with putting their name out there. But uh, we'll, we'll see if they wind up coming to the channel to talk about the book. So that being said, the other major thing that I've worked on on the channel before is the tarot deck. I have not touched that in quite a while because of these other projects taking precedence, but I am planning on going back to it. It's just a matter of freeing up some time to do that. So then this next project is one that you are all very familiar with at this point if you've been following the channel, talking about Noob vs. Pro. So Noob vs. Pro is just a... Uh, series that my husband and I have started to do in order for me to teach him how to draw. The whole reason I originally started this channel was because I wanted to teach people how to draw in the first place. I wasn't sure where to start. A lot of what I focused on was fundamentals, and I'm still focusing on fundamentals by teaching him, but I feel like Noob vs. Pro is putting that in a slightly more digestible way. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier to kind of joke around and have fun and show like, yeah, there is serious stuff that goes into drawing and learning how to draw. And it is a lot of work, but it can also be a lot of fun too. Like the sky's the limit when you're doing something creative. But we've been doing it for about a month. We uh, launched Noob vs. Pro on February 14th and since then... We've been uploading every other week with some supplemental stuff on the Fridays. And this is actually the first time in quite a while that we've caught up to those things, uh, which is part of the reason why this is a catch up video instead of a teaching video, uh, because we need time to edit and do some things. Our theater started up again in early March, so we kind of burned through the backlog that we had built for ourselves, but there shouldn't be a delay. We have some stuff currently done that we just need time to edit. So instead of pull ledge away from those things, I said, go ahead, do the editing and we'll go from there. Typically, I edit my own videos. Ledge does the new versus pro videos to kind of help with that and take something off of my plate so that I can work on some of the art-oriented stuff that I've been doing. That being said, we have topics picked up through the end of July. Uh, Ledge and I will be going on vacation in July, so hopefully we have more of a backlog by that point, but we'll see where it happens. The show that we're working on with the theater goes up in June. There'll be three weeks in June where we'll be doing those on the weekends, so... June's going to be a busy month, but, you know, we'll see where things go. Uh, I have been enjoying Noob vs. Pro so far. It's given me a chance to really connect with my husband on something that I'm very passionate about and also has given me a lot of confidence in terms of teaching people. 
teaching people as a creative is very, very hard, I will say, because like there's this part of me, like I know I'm a good artist. I know that I can do a lot of things with my artwork, but it's one thing to be able to do something and another thing entirely to have the confidence and uh, wherewithal to know what you're good at and how to explain it to somebody else. So I know that I'm a good artist, but I have a hard time picking out exactly what I'm good at and how to teach that to somebody else. So Noob vs. Pro has really given me a lot of confidence in this, and I feel like I can better explain certain elements, at least in the fundamentals, to people. So I've been toying around with the idea of launching tutorials and a mentorship. I will probably wind up workshopping this with Ledge and a couple of my coffee tier people. So if this is something that you want to kind of learn more about or interested in, but not sure what it's going to be yet, I really don't know what this is going to look like yet either. I'm still trying to figure out the specifics of this, but... I'm thinking about maybe workshopping it with a couple of people on coffee. I've invited my best friend to the mentorship discord ledges in the mentorship discord so that I can kind of workshop some ideas and set some things up. I'd like to open it as like a beta test type thing to some people. So I'm thinking about doing that for my highest coffee tier. So if that's something that's interesting to you, then make sure that you keep an eye on coffee. I will announce when I'm starting to beta test that to members. So just um, keep an eye out. So with the mentorship being talked about, I feel like that is all of the art oriented stuff that I've got going on. Um, I do have a couple more announcements and just kind of things to touch base on uh, to talk about. So bear with me here. So the first thing that I want to address specifically is Twitch. I'm sure that a lot of people who are here on YouTube don't remember when I was streaming on Twitch, but there are some of you still kind of sticking around and I wanted to address that. Um, I have not touched Twitch since April 6th of 2023 and I don't think I'm going to come back guys. I have tried a couple of times in the past year to get up the motivation to go back to Twitch, but I am honestly enjoying myself more without doing Twitch. I am getting a lot more of my projects done. I am having way more opportunities to connect with other artists and stuff like that. You know, maybe I'll pop on every so often to do a draw with me or something like that, go live with my art, but I'm done with Twitch. I cannot keep up with it. It was exhausting me on top of everything else. And I have so many different things that are requiring my time right now that I really do not think I have the time to set aside for two to four hours multiple times a week to go live. It's just not feasible for me right now. So unfortunately, I'm going to let my affiliate ship status lapse for Twitch, and that's going to be the end of an era. Um, I learned a lot. I had a lot of fun, but there was a lot of drama attached, and I don't want to subject myself to that kind of mentality anymore. So this is where I stand on Twitch. It's maybe once in a while, blue moon type thing as an event, but I'm not going to go out of my way to try and go live multiple times a week or anything like that. That being said, I still do try to pop in to some people's streams to support because I do have some friends that I've made on there and I wish them the best with their Twitch endeavors. You know, there are some great people that I've met over there. If I do ever do anything in terms of going live again, it'll probably be a dual cast to Twitch and YouTube or just YouTube. Keep everything in one area so that people can easily find it. But in that same vein, I feel like I can't talk about Twitch without talking about Discord. So my Discord community is still alive and well. There is a join link in the description of every video. 
I've switched it over to be more of an art and writing community than a Twitch community, and it's been pretty nice. Um, it is a little dead because a lot of people who are in there, I think, just have the server muted and are from the Twitch days, are more interested in gaming than, you know, art and writing, and that's fine. But um, it is there if you want to join a growing community, um, you can you know, talk art with me, uh, with a bunch of awesome artists and writers that are in the group there. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. I also want to talk about another discord server that I'm heavily a part of. It's called the happy little accident server. So this is another art community. It is very interactive. There's a decent amount of people in there. I think we're up to 75 people in there. There are events at least two per week, and there are also prompts to kind of stoke your creative juices. It's um, really interesting. There's a lot of people active in the feedback channels. There's a plethora of resources, and there's a bunch of people who are willing to collaborate in there, um, do fun stuff, and talk about their work. So... Definitely check it out. I'll have an invite in the description below. Um, so make sure that you, you know, poke around, have fun if that's something that you're interested in. So now that I'm done talking about Discord, I wanted to talk a little bit about the prints that I've started to share. I've had some prints available on Gumroad for a little while. Um, my Gumroad is actually, it's got its own... Uh, domain address, so it's vampireantihero.com. I've only got two uh, prints up there at the moment, but I also literally, as of recording this, just got an email saying that I got accepted to imprint. So the prints that I have up on Gumroad are US only, but I am working on getting imprint set up so that I can have some stuff for European and other countries. I just... Um, the prints that I have on Gumroad are ones that I personally have sourced and, and got from a vendor. And shipping is really, really expensive. I'm trying to figure out alternatives for things that I actually source myself. But until I get that figured out, you know, we'll we'll stick with the print on demand on imprint and stuff like that. Imprint is really high quality from what I've heard. So I've got high hopes for that. And um We'll see where this goes. So I will link to the imprint shop once it is officially open, but for now it's not open yet. I haven't uploaded anything. I need to reformat some files and put some stuff up there. Uh, Gumroad currently only has the two prints on there, but I will have some standalone tutorials on there on a pay what you want basis. Uh, I'll probably set them as a very low price or free plus so that people can pay what they want for it. And we'll see where that goes as well. Coffee is the last thing that I wanted to talk about today. Um, coffee has been a little bit dead on my part because of all of these projects that I'm working on. My works and progresses are still regularly going up on there for uh, supporters. That's the only place that I really post my work in progress stuff except for in the happy little accent server and like my own community server but my own community server it's hidden for people who are coffee only um because i am more of an art advisor role and i am trying to run events and stuff like that on the happy little accent server i try to be a little bit more open about what i'm sharing there so if that's something that you're interested in uh, the coffee will also have that early access to the mentorship aspects. I might do some polls on there. But there are currently three tiers that are uh, available through coffee. Um, I will also put the tutorials that I want to put together on coffee as well as the Gumroad. Gumroad does take a fee, coffee does not, but a lot of people do prefer Gumroad because of their library system. So I don't want to make them exclusive to one platform if more people are going to buy it from different sources. So I'm going to probably start with some line art stuff 
and go from there. Um, but we'll see where tutorials go. That being said, uh, anybody who is a member on coffee above on the $10 tier or above will likely have access to these tutorials for free just because you know, the tutorials are going to be a pay what you want. And I, I want to reward coffee a little bit more than just, oh, here are some work in progresses every so often. Uh, there is also a members only shop on coffee where you can order certain things that I don't put out to the main public, such as old out of print artwork, things that, you know, are just kind of made in small batches those types of things. Um, and I was thinking about opening some more tiers on coffee and just getting that figured out. I haven't really thought too hard on that quite yet. Um, but I'm thinking maybe one of the coffee tiers will have access to a one-on-one -on -one mentorship, uh, at a limited amount, like once per month or once every other week or something like that. I need to figure out the logistics of actually running a mentorship first, so this is going to be pretty far down the line. But this is where my brain is at right now with coffee. I think that that is everything that I wanted to talk about today. So there was quite a lot here because I haven't done a newsletter or a catch up since January. So I hope that, you know, this was interesting to you guys. I hope that if it's not, that you bear with me. These updates won't happen super often. Uh, just kind of touch base and let you guys know all the behind the scenes and what's going on. So <clears throat> with that, I want to thank my coffee supporters. I could not keep making videos and educational content without you guys. Um, thank you for everything that you do. If you'd like to support, then check out the coffee, uh, check out the prints, and check out my website. There's ways to support all over the place. Commissions are currently closed at the moment outside of the commissions that I have running. Um, but if you are interested in a commission and want to talk to me about a project, then email me. My email is linked. Even if my commissions are closed, I usually will take them on a case by case basis. So just email me, let me know what you're thinking and we will have a conversation about it. Um, and with that, let's uh, stop the endless incessant rambling that I've been subjecting you guys to for 22 minutes. <laughs> As always, I hope that you are all taking care of yourselves. Drink your water and do what you can. I love you guys, and I'm looking forward to spending some more time doing art with you all. Goodbye, everybody.